Gomexis just dropped the brand new flat knobs and we are going to be comparing them today against the old school round power knobs. So the main idea is to get out here just kind of show you guys what they can do for you, how they look, how they feel, and just get a better understanding about these new Gomexis handles. Alright guys, so the flat knob setup is going to be a Shimano Karata 200E. It's an old school setup. I'm going to be mainly doing swim baits on it. Right now we got a uh, throwbacks wake bait on there. Um, it's on a 3 to 10 ounce rod, so kind of big and beefy. And then we got the round knob setup. Now, I kind of personally love these on my frog setups. Uh, so that's what we're going to be tossing on today. Just a good old classic tataki frog round knob so we can get those power cranks and kind of control nice and easy. Now, the main idea, once again, is to just kind of get a feel for the new flat knobs and maybe compare them uh, to the round knobs. So at the end of today's video, guys, we'll go ahead and do a recap, talk about the similarities and the differences between the two handles and uh, where you can actually pick them up. So let's get after it. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna start with the big boy flat knob before we actually start comparing to the round. I already have a pretty good understanding of the rounds, so I need to figure these out and uh, just kind of figure out what they're all about, see what they're about, let you guys know what they're all about. Once again, throwing that throwback weight bait on there. I'm just gonna slow crank it. See if we can find some big boys, some small boys, whatever we can find. Looks like there's a nice storm coming in, so might have picked the right time to be throwing some big baits, we will see. I'll tell you what, the handle just feels naturally good. Nice and comfortable in the hand. I like how you can fit basically two fingers and your thumb on there. Get some nice smooth cranks. There's no rolling off. Has a nice grip and feeling too, so I'm definitely liking it off the bat. You all right? Jimmy just almost fell in the water. That's hilarious. Jimmy's actually going to be fishing the flat knobs today too, guys. So if you all want to see a different comparison or a different look at these videos about the knobs, make sure you go check out his channel as well. I'll try not to fall as I cross this creek right here. All right, we're across. That's some nice grass right here in front of me. I'm going to give it a little cast through this. I had a follower. They want that glide motion right now. Yeah, he only looked at it once. That was it. Oh, ants right here. All right, guys, so we just had our first follower, and uh, he came up to the bait but did not actually even really approach it too much. Um, just kind of nosed it. So to me, that means the bait got his attention, but the action was not sufficient to get a bite. So I'm going to change out real quick and see if we can get something on a different bait. So I'm going to grab this little bluegill bait that I have right here and see if we can entice something. It still will stay on top of the water. It is a, a wake bait, or not a, necessarily a wake bait, but it does have that wake style where it stays on top of the water. Um, but it is a bluegill pattern and it is a glide bait. So a lot of potential on that actual bait compared to, I guess, this three piece throwback that we were throwing. And if they won't bite that, we might have to pull out a classic TK. I did bring a whole arsenal of swim baits today to test this handle out to the fullest. I want to try to just stick to big baits today. Don't want to have to put on the old chatter bait or anything like that, but we have it just in case. Oh my God, I'm literally in the water already. Let's see if we can pull a fish off of this. Horrible to fight it, but possibility to catch a fish here is really, really high. I'm sure and a lot of people don't come to this edge. My feet are already, oh, it's stinky, nasty water too. I'm wearing sandals, so it's like in between my toes now. Good days, good times. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what was that? Did you see that? Yeah, that was giant. Dude, oh my God. That looked like a catfish, not a, not a bass. But the tail in that looked like to be at least 25 inches plus. Man, I'm trying to like gather myself, honestly. I was not prepared for that bite. I was not prepared for that hook set. I was not prepared for anything at all. And uh, I guess that's what happens when you're not prepared. Let's see if we can get something else. Dude, this thing cast a freaking mile. Oh, already got hit as soon as it hit the water. As soon as it hit the water. Let's try to fight him for real. Try to keep him down. He's barely on, Just slowly cranking, letting him come this way. It's not a big boy at all. Not a very big boy at all. 
not a very big boy at all but i'll i'll take it let's go guys oh never mind that's a good fish that's a good fish that's a decent fish right there guys now i know how this thing feels now i know what to do with it oh man i'm stoked right now Whew. careful don't hurt me buddy don't hurt me don't hurt me don't hurt me don't hurt me let's freaking go guys got our first little tiny porker honestly look at the belly on that fish but the size the length is not really there got him on that flat handle just threw it out there as soon as it hit the water pop same area where we just lost a fish i wasn't ready for the first bite definitely ready for the second one these gomex's power handles man definitely work amazing for these glide baits or big baits so let's go ahead and get them back in the water get a few more casts out there and see if we can maybe get a few more and hopefully a bigger bite maybe we'll get that catfish back let's go i'm gonna leave this rod here and just keep on muscling around and see if we can find the bite in this nasty little cesspool <laughs> um, i will say guys i'm not doing anything crazy as far as like changing up techniques or fishing anything crazy it is that time of the year where bluegill are naturally on beds and they're naturally um, doing their thing so i said you know what let's pop the old bluegill bait on as soon as i had that first follow-up and i've already had a blow up on a catfish had one other follow-up and then had that one fish right there so it's just one of those things where you got to adapt and adjust to your environment and uh honestly seasons too seasons will make a big difference and i think that's a big reason why my bite has increased or my hookups my action everything in general has increased because I put on this bluegill pattern glide bait it's actually by cast king if you guys are interested in picking this thing up i don't know if it's available yet but it will be soon and as y'all can see it gets bit i'm gonna have to probably work through this nasty stuff right here I just hope that there's no snakes or leeches or nothing nasty in it to be honest God, it's muddy and gross. I just want to find a place that's not so gross looking. This ain't that bad. Oh, 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 oh my God, at the last second, just a pool. A fish just came up and bit it. I missed him. Dude, that was like a five pounder right there. Easily a five pounder. Man, this thing's getting action today. I need to slow it down, I guess. That one is almost too shallow for me to really do anything, unfortunately, man. And honestly, I was not ready for that. I was ready to just bring it in. The grass is right here, water's right here. Ah, I hope that I'm not stepping on turtles or snakes or anything wild. Oh my God, that was a deep step. Oh my God, a lot deeper than the rest of them. And the things I do for fishing are pretty damn ridiculous sometimes. Oh my God, that is not what I want to step in. Jeez Louise, man. I'm gonna smell like a baby diaper. But we are on dry land, guys. It took us about 20 minutes to get here. And we have found dry land. Oh my God, that is like a turtle. What is that? Was that a bass? Yeah, it's a bass. He's on it. Oh, it's a catfish. <gasps> Freaking catfish followed me up. I think he saw this grass on me, though. Said, no, I ain't going to eat that. Dude, I would love to get a freaking catfish on a big bait. They're fun. Oh! Big old bass, 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 big old bass. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Oh my freaking God, dude. Jimmy! Oh my God, dude. God, dude, look what we just freaking caught on this freaking swim bait. Are you freaking kidding me? Last second, cranking this thing in. It's gotta be like a four or five, easily. The size of its mouth, the size of its eyes just coming out. Dude. What a freaking toad. How insane. Snagged at that, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. Snagged at that little uh, bait last second, man. Let's freaking go. I'm gonna get a weight on this guy. In freaking insane. Dude, he's gotta be five. He's gotta be five. It's five, bro. Five point one two, five point two two. 
5.22, boy. Damn, son. <laughs> Let's freaking go. I'm going to get him some water. We need to get some photos. He came up last second, bro, and tapped that oh, thing. Shit. Last second and tapped that thing. Looking like the rock fish. I want to be nice with her, yeah. All right, guys. There she is. 5.22 pounds. Second biggest fish. Second biggest bass of my lifetime on uh, that Gomex power handle and that big old bluegill swim bait. All right guys, so we got out here today to try to test out these brand new Gomex's flat knobs. And boy, oh boy, did we have a fun time testing them. Not only are they a great power handle, a great glide handle, a great cranky handle, but they have the durability and capability of bringing in some tanks of some bass. As you all saw out there, 5.2 pounds, my second biggest fish ever, handled this thing with ease. As far as comparing this to the round knobs, I will say this is probably gonna be better for that glide bait or maybe like a slow roll on the bottom or just a slow and steady uh, retrieve. Compared to those round reels, which are gonna be better for a multi-segment bait or maybe like a wake bait, something on top of the water, where you're gonna kind of roll a little bit faster and just kind of create a little bit more commotion. But now that you guys got a good general idea of what these handles can do for you and how they look on these beautiful old school Corrados and other reels that we have as well, that is gonna be it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. If y'all are interested in picking them up, once again, get on over to gomexus.com or you can use my Amazon affiliate link. I'll leave that below in the description. But thanks again for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.